So um, our next presenter, we moved some stuff around in the schedule so he could be with us. Um, he gave an amazing presentation in Las Vegas last year, just astonishing about the rate of growth of Zynga as, a, as just a machine um, and the sheer number of hours that we spend um, playing casual games is astonishing. Um, Alan has a storied past. He was Clotterati before there was Clotterati. He has founded and been involved in the early days of companies like Cisco and Digital Island. Uh, he's been an investor, one of the smartest guys I know on infrastructure who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people on, on the TCP IP payload structure and, and debate headers and IP toss, and then get way up to how to manage tens of thousands of node clouds efficiently. Uh, Zynga had some very interesting news hidden within their uh, reports yesterday uh, that Alan's going to come out and share with us. So uh, looking forward to hearing some exciting stuff from Alan. Morning. My name is Alan Leinwand. I'm CTO of Infrastructure at Zynga. I spent a little bit of time this morning telling you about how we used a hybrid cloud, a combination of the public cloud and our private cloud, something we affectionately dubbed our Z cloud. Zynga has a mission to connect the world through games. And that means finding a way to bring social connections. We think of gaming as social. We think of it as accessible from multiple types of devices. And we think of gaming as fun. Matter of fact, at Zynga, we believe in play. We want to bring play to the internet. We know that people are beginning to play more on the internet. And we think that play needs to be thought of in the same way people think about sharing, shopping, or even searching on the internet. We've also started to see some data points that tell us that play is an activity that's becoming more and more accessible, something that a lot of you are doing on a daily basis. And that's something that we really strive to do on the technology side and on the infrastructure side at Zynga, is really to make the infrastructure enable play. Some of our games you may have heard of, Farmville, Yoville, Cityville. Some of you might be playing Words with Friends right now. I'll try and keep your attention, but if you're playing it, that's OK. But just don't play me. Um, you know, but our games are social. They're fun. They connect to your friends. They connect to your family. They, they connect you to people in your social network. Matter of fact, the infrastructure behind that is something that's, that really drives those services. And while you think of them as games, you think of your farm or your city or your empire in Castleville, what you're really experiencing is a network of 240 million monthly active users. And the infrastructure behind that to drive that, to make those changes on your farm, to allow those words to be played in words with friends, to unscramble that scramble on your iPad or your iPhone, that's something that you know, takes a lot of technology, a lot of innovation, and a lot of scale. Not only does it take scale, from Zynga's perspective and from our perspective on our teams building infrastructure, there's a bit of a challenge. And the challenge is that Zynga is a globally distributed company, multiple locations, lots of developers. And what these locations show you is where Zynga developers are developing new social games, new social mechanics, new ways for you to have fun. And these features are coming daily, multiple times a day, multiple times a week. And they put challenges on the infrastructure to change to make sure those live services evolve, to make sure that there is that new feature that you come back to and want to play with on your farm or in your city or on your mafia. It's something that we find very exciting when we look at infrastructure, is that infrastructure as a requirement for handling these different types of workloads is something that, that's a challenge to build. It took a lot of innovation from our teams to build, and it's really something that we've been striving to grow and scale over time. But let me take you a little bit back to how we, how we started and what we did. When Zynga first started building out infrastructure to build social gaming, we actually did a classic model. We went to a co-location facility. We started buying servers and networks and firewalls and all pre-cloud type of things. And we, we started scaling the infrastructure in a way that matched the needs of our players. And that's always been our goal. When you go to play one of our games, they're always there. They're always ready for you to play. But what we found out is people had these moments of delight. They had these moments of joy in playing our games, and our games took off. And the infrastructure didn't really scale. We, we ran out of things like data center space. We couldn't get cooling fast enough. We had an issue with 
you know, getting servers up and running. And we needed more flexibility and more scalability. The inflection point for us was back in 09. Back in 09, we launched a game called Farmville. And Farmville in the first six weeks went from zero daily active players to 10 million. And then it didn't stop. It actually went to 25 million daily active users in the first five months. And that was an inflection point for us to realize that we couldn't continue to scale and grow infrastructure at a, that sort of, at a way that met the pace of our, of our players and the demand of all of you out there having fun and being social. So we quickly moved to using public cloud infrastructure. We took Farmville and we started to use things in the public cloud and we grew the infrastructure there as well. We flexed and we, we scaled with provisioning tools and public cloud became an absolutely critical and essential part of our infrastructure. As we move through time and we continue to use the public cloud and we continue to grow and scale with Amazon, we realized that we were sort of renting where we could own. And we decided that it made sense to sort of think about how to build infrastructure that would live inside of Zynga, that would allow us to scale on our own, that would allow us to take that infrastructure and grow at the rate of our players' demands. And we had an idea and we came up with this idea called the Z Cloud. Now, when you're looking at building a private cloud, the thing that's most critical for us to understand and most critical insight that we had is when our games were scaling, when they were going at a vertical line, you know, zero to 25 million daily active players in a very short period of time, for example, on Farmville, it's really hard to get ahead of that growth curve. But if you can start to see growth curves that are slightly less than a 90 degree angle, still growing at exceptionally fast rates, but less than a 90 degree angle, you can get ahead of that growth curve. You can build for that capacity. And that's what we started to do. So we built and operated in multiple geographies something called the Z Cloud. The Z Cloud is operated like a public cloud. If you squint, it kind of looks a lot like Amazon Web Services, but it's self contained inside of Zynga's facilities. It's safe and secure, it's a place for our players to go to experience fun in their social games, but we know that it's within our own premises and within our own control. And we launched games in the public cloud still. One of the challenges we had was that although we were growing very fast, our games were growing fast as well. And that meant that while we were continuing to use the public cloud and scale with the public cloud, we were building up Z Cloud at the same time. And we had a philosophy that we talked about uh, through last year called cloud bursting in reverse. What we would do is we would take a game and we'd launch it up into the public cloud and Amazon Web Services. Because we weren't quite sure exactly where the slope of that line was going to be. Once we were able to plot the slope of the growth trajectory in the public cloud, we would take that game and we'd move it back over into Z Cloud. And that was something that we spent a lot of time doing in 2011. We also made a commitment to own the base and rent the spike. And what I mean by that is to build out infrastructure, make capital investments on our infrastructure, and make sure that our private Z Cloud was able to scale, focused on meeting and scaling the needs for our games and players. To give you an example, when we launched Castleville back in November of 2011, Castleville grew from zero to five million daily active users in six days. Castleville was launched exclusively and scaled exclusively on Z Cloud. So a couple numbers that we like to talk about in terms of the infrastructure and what we've actually done. Z Cloud went from proof of concept in our labs, running code, not really live, to in production at scale in less than six months. We've actually had the ability in our data centers, in our facilities, giving our automation, our innovation, our monitoring, our scalability, to actually provision 1,000 physical servers within 24 hours. And we've done this on a, on a number of occasions. And to give you an idea of the order of magnitude growth we've seen, between January of 2009 and January 2012, we grew the number of servers on Z Cloud by two orders of magnitude. So how do our what, what does this really end up meaning? What this ends up meaning is our game developers, our game studios, the folks that are making these fun games that most of you are playing right now, I suspect, now consume infrastructure as Z Cloud in a scalable, seamless way. We made aggressive moves to leverage our own infrastructure. And we actually launched the first new piece of IP, the first new game on Zynga's Z Cloud in June of 2011. So just about seven months ago. At the same time, we continue to use Amazon. We continue to grow in Amazon. We continue to connect our private Z Cloud to the public 
uh, Am uh, Amazon Cloud. That hybrid cloud was a strategy, maintains to be our strategy, always is going to be our strategy going forward. But we did make a big move. The big move we made was in January of 2011, approximately 20% 20 of our daily active users were actually running in Z Cloud on our own infrastructure, and 80% were up in Amazon. By the end of last year, we had swept those numbers. So 80% of our players were now accessing games in Z Cloud, and 20% were up in Amazon. So not only during 2011 were we building out facilities, were we launching games into Amazon, were we watching the slope of those games in Amazon and moving them to Z Cloud, we actually moved a large majority of our daily active players onto ZCloud in 2011. But ZCloud's still a hybrid. We love the fact that it's private and public. We, we need that flexibility. ZCloud is our primary infrastructure, but we have to leverage the public cloud. We need Amazon Web Services being there. We need that flexibility. We don't know when the next moment of delight is going to find itself into our players, and they're going to have that surge onto the infrastructure. We don't know when the next feature is going to hit that people are going to love and want to use throughout the world. We, we obviously know when games are releasing and when things are happening, but these are living, breathing services, and things happen 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the infrastructure, and we need to make sure it's very flexible, always able to meet the needs of our players. So this allows us to have this flexibility. And by the way, it's a hybrid car, a hybrid road, and Lincoln Park's hybrid theory. Um, those are really hybrids, and that's how we think of maintaining our infrastructure. Very hybrid, very flexible, able to look at best way to e effectively and efficiently utilize the infrastructure. So I'll, I'll give you a little tease and, and wrap up here. I'm actually doing an hour-long case study tomorrow on ZCloud, uh, tomorrow morning. And that case study really focuses on two things. Once we bulked up ZCloud, and once we understood that ZCloud was going to be our primary vehicle in the hybrid cloud model for our games going forward, we actually decided we needed to focus on availability, and we needed to focus on performance. And we've done some really interesting things in terms of innovating on availability, innovating on performance, and hopefully you'll, uh, some of you will find your way over to that session tomorrow. So hopefully you've enjoyed hearing a little bit about what we've done at Zynga with our private and public hybrid cloud infrastructure. Thanks very much. Thanks, sir. All right. Um, good lineup so far. We're trying to keep things moving nice and fast. Uh, we have a pretty provocative discussion um, coming up next. Originally, I was going to do